Hi, I'm Kyle McGann and today I'm going to be showing you how to DIY manufacture an adapter for a regular stand-up soap dispenser to be able to fit into the faucet hole uh, of a sink. You see, this sink has a hole for the faucet, but I made my own faucet out of galvanized piping, so I'm going to put a soap dispenser in this hole, but the available options have ugly plastic bottles that would be visible in this application. I want to use a more attractive bottle, so an adapter is obviously needed. To begin this process, I needed to reverse engineer the threads of the original dispenser. Then, I designed and 3D printed a two-piece product with external threads for the pump and internal threads to connect the bottle to. This whole process took a couple of iterations to get the threads to match up correctly. From here, we need to make the mold. I used a two-part silicone resin and disposable cups to hold everything together. With the help of my little lab assistant, it's time to mix and pour. My first mistake was not combining the two parts in a different, bigger container. So when my little lab assistant began stirring, some of that hardener accidentally spilled out. But other than that, this part went mostly well. I had to make sure the liquid filled the voids and displaced all the air. The problems really start to pick up when attempting to remove the model from the mold. Even letting it sit overnight, there were pockets of uncured resin inside, probably from the spilled hardener. The first mold basically didn't hold together at all after removing the solid, and the second one made it difficult to extract the inner portion of the mold because of the internal threads. It finally came out in about six pieces that I attempted to rebuild, unsuccessfully I might add. In a mass manufacturing plan, I would suggest these be injection molded. So more of a draft angle is needed on the sides, and some kind of end mold action to help make the threads. The overall result is a failure due to the model resin leaking into the cracks of the mold on the inside, and basically fusing them together. The external surface turned out great, but it's an unusable piece. On the plus side, while my mold won't do the job, my 3D printed models work pretty well. So, at least my design I know was adequate. Thanks for watching, and while the end result wasn't quite what I was hoping for, uh, I hope it was at least enjoyable to watch.